In the previous video we set up our Raspberry Pi from start to finish with a dual boot. In this video I'll show you how to do this so you can do screen capture and work with the Pi remotely over the graphical interface. So in the previous video I mentioned that we're going to need putty to interface with the Pi. So go ahead and download this and get it installed. As well, we're going to need a VNC client, so I like type VNC and download this and install it. We're also going to need the IP address of our Pi. You can get that from your router or multiple other methods. We won't go into that here. Once you have your IP address, we can go ahead and put it in on port 22 and we're going to log in as Pi and Raspberry. We're all set and logged in. Next we're going to need to do a sudo apt get update and install all the updates we need. That'll take some time. Once that's all complete we can do the upgrade and that will make sure that we're completely up to date. We won't run that here because it'll take too long to complete. We're going to need to install the Type VNC. So we do that with the install Type VNC server command. It's already installed here, so it didn't have to go through the whole process. Now we're going to need to run the Type VNC server client. Very, very simple. Once that's set up, we're going to issue it the command. We're going to do VNC server port 1, then we're going to do the screen geometry. You can set this to whatever resolution you wish. Here I just did 800 by 600, and we'll set a depth of 24. We're all set. Now open your client on your desktop PC, port 1 that we specified, and we're going to connect using the password that we specified. In this case, it's Raspberry. In my case, it won't take the Raspberry. It's, uh, it won't allow that long of a password. There we go. We're all set. We're into the graphical user interface. From here, you can work with it just like you would be right at the Pi from uh, anywhere on your home network. In this case, great for screen share, uh, capturing video, uh, just remotely working with the Pi in the user interface. All the programs work, uh, with the exception of Minecraft, I found uh, I can't do that over a VNC. But uh, in the next video, I'll show you uh, some, some stuff on Scratch, uh, amazing programming environment, and we'll uh, take a play with it and see where we get. Hope this helps you guys. Cheers.